what is up you guys my name is Kyle aka Kinger and welcome to my world so first off just want to say sorry for my air being on I'm trying to cool down my room before I go to bed but uh, it is currently almost 2 30 in the morning and I worked from 4 30 until about midnight I left and got home about almost 12 30 so since then I have been editing the vlog from Thursday trying to get that done and I got that done for you guys and finalized and now it is uploading with this new iMovie I, it turns it into mp4 format which apparently finally Finalizes a lot faster, but I just realized from my last video it doesn't give me the 1080 HD So I need to start saving it in the best possible um, Resolution so I can get my 1080 HD because that's what this camera is in so I might as well do that So I just realized it was saving much or finalizing much faster. I'm like wait a minute So I gotta switch all that around but it's still good quality and everything if you're watching it on a phone And even if you're watching it on a laptop if you don't want do full screen it should still be really good quality so anyways I got that done and basically I gotta tell you guys a little story something happened at work tonight everything was going great I was actually having one of the best nights that I've ever had at work I was making really good money I was having really good tables everybody was cool and then all of a sudden my manager yells at me to get in the kitchen and that she's writing me up and I'm going home for the night and I'm like what like, where is this coming from? So, come to find out, this table that wasn't even mine complained to my manager saying that I had said something that I didn't say. They took what I said uh, a different way. So, basically, rewinding a little bit here, I just got sat and was taking care of these uh, of a two top. And I've been trying to order food because we started slowing down. I was going into happy hours. So, in between like 9 30 and 10, it's kind of slow. So, I was trying to order food and I felt like I just kept getting sat. Well, then all of a sudden, I see another server and a host setting up for a party in my section. I'm like, dude, like what's going on? I, I went up to ask the host, I was like, you know, why do you keep seating me? Uh, Cause I felt like I was the only one getting sat, but come to find out there was only three of us on. So it's just, we were getting so busy that he was just doing rotation and doing his job, which, you know, and I was just kind of, you know, being selfish cause I wanted to eat, you know, I was starving. So I had said, you know, why are you, why do you keep seating me? So we were talking that out. And apparently in that time, or maybe after I asked that question, he asked me, or maybe even before, he asked me if I could drop off two menus to this table that we were right next to. And I didn't hear him. So when I said, why do you keep seating me? The table thought I said, why would I do that? And as I turned around after I asked that, I was walking down the ramp and just put the menus in the little holder that we have on the side of the wall. And it was really weird too, when I asked the question, the lady turned around in her seat and like looked at me like she was like appalled at something that I had said. So I thought that was a little weird. Well, a couple minutes go by and I see my manager like say my name and was talking to those two and she's like, did so-and-so, did Kyle say this at a table, blah, 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 blah. Well, then all of a sudden, that's when she's like, you know, finish up your tables, you're going home, I'm writing you up. And I'm like, this is coming out of nowhere. So I walk back with her. I'm like, what is going on? I have no clue at this point what's happening. So she said that the table complained to her that I had said, why would I do that? And that it just seemed very rude for me to say. And that I put the menus away and just went about my business, which isn't the case at all. I am. I take when I'm at work, I'm a professional person. Like I take uh, my job very seriously because it's like, you know, it's my money. I pay my bills. I pay my rent and everything. You got to take it seriously. And on top of that, it's like, why would dropping two menus off be a big deal? Like that's like the easiest thing in the world. So they took what I said completely wrong, told my manager and we're all appalled. And she's like, no, I got to buy them food and blah, 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 blah. And apparently they're regulars, even though I've never really seen them around. So it just turned into this big ordeal from a complete misunderstanding. So I got written up for it. Well, of course, knowing what I did was right, like I, I know that I didn't do anything wrong, I didn't sign the write-up. I have the right to not sign for my write-up, being that basically saying that I agree with why I'm being written up, blah, 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 blah. So now I'm in a little bit of an issue. I have a little bit of an issue. I'm in a little bit of a difficult situation. My GM is on vacation in Italy for two weeks. So one of our managers is standing in as an active GM, but he's really just a manager. And so I work with him tomorrow morning and basically I can talk to him about it and everything and tell him it was all just a big misunderstanding. And my manager, I finally talked to her about it and she kind of, you know, realized what I was saying. She didn't think that I would say something like that because she's known me to be nothing but nice and which I am. And, you know, or I try to be, you know, if I'm not in a bad mood or something like that, you know, there, I mean, it's work, you know, 
you get stressed out, you might say some things. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. But, you know, I've always been nice. I've never been rude in front of her or anything like that. So she's known me to be nothing but a nice person. She, you know, even... I can tell it was like, you know, I don't think he would really say that, but she has to go based off what the customer says. It's a customer complaint. It's an automatic write-up. She's just doing her job. Totally understand that. So, you know, she's like, the best thing that we can do is just, you know, you talk it out with that manager and then you talk it out with the GM when he comes back. They make the decision, blah, 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 you know, whatever. So the problem is, is that the one server doesn't want to be involved. He doesn't want to back me up, whatever, but the host is willing to back me up and say, you know, this is how it happened. It was a complete misunderstanding. So hopefully by him helping me out and me just explain the situation and just being nothing but honest, you know, which is what I go by. I, I hate liars. And, you know, even if what this table took was like a misunderstanding, I find it really messed up that they made it such a big deal to my manager. Like what they don't understand is this just put my job on the line. Like you got me written up for a misunderstanding. So I'm just hoping that I can talk it all out. We can work this out and everything can just be, you know, back to normal. Trying to stay positive about it. I feel like I'll be OK because I feel like, you know, my story is like legit. Like it's nothing but the truth. Like it was just a complete misunderstanding. So hopefully with him, you know, with my story and with you know the host being by my side and you know backing me up hopefully we can work that all out I'm a little nervous about it you know because I do have one customer complaint I told you guys a long time ago or actually I might not have told you about that one a while ago I told you about that whole party issue the one day the lady was having you know a freak out session but I had a table before that complain because I didn't leave them six cents on their table excuse me, on their check, yet they tipped me $5 cash on, and it was a 20% tip and everything, like, that was a whole nother thing, but that was months ago, and I got written up for that. So, what I heard was two write-ups from customer complaints and you're fired, but my manager told me tonight that she thinks it's three. So, hopefully we can just totally disregard this, you know, write-up and everything can just be, you know, back to normal because it was just a misunderstanding, so hopefully they understand that. So, being that a customer said something, they kind of have to go with what they say, so... <sighs> It's just a really shitty situation. I hate being in this predicament because if I lose my job, like, it can really mess up my life. I have my house I gotta pay for, I take care of Gramps, I, you know, pay all my bills and everything. So it's like, I can't afford to lose my job. Plus everything that's going on in the near future here, all the concerts I'm going to, and I might go up to Michigan for a week and just a bunch of stuff that's going on. I gotta save for all my camera gear, all of my stuff for YouTube. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. I cannot afford to lose my job. So I did make really good money tonight. So that is a plus from it all. Even if I got home, sent home early, I still made really good money. I do work a double tomorrow. So I need to get going to bed. By the time I fall asleep, it's probably gonna be 3, 3.30 in the morning. The vlog is edited from Thursday. Got that uploading. I gotta still edit the one from Friday. And then I gotta edit this one. We will be back on track, I promise. I just am working a lot the next few days and closing shifts and everything. You guys know how that goes. So I am doing my best. And I did see your guys' comments about me continuing the vlogs taking everything into consideration. I will res respond to you guys. And um, I really do appreciate the feedback. So something that Abigail had said was, you know, you talk about doing your main channel videos, but you don't really take it seriously and you don't do it. And, you know, she wanted to make sure that does doesn't come off as mean. It's just constructive criticism, which I totally, you know, when I ask for your guys' opinion, I want nothing but honesty from you guys. Cause I try to keep it as real with you guys as I can. I tell you everything that's going on, you know, all that. So. I do appreciate the feedback. I, I do need to start focusing on the main channel. I do need to, you know, take what I say and, and make it a reality. So that is going to be done. I need to definitely focus on that. There's just been a lot going on lately too. And like I said, with my friends, you know, I got to build a link up with them so we can film videos as far as, you know, a group. But I can do videos by myself and I do have video ideas. So I need to get that done. And she, something else she mentioned is there's things you can do that don't require money, which is very true. So there's that. And then another person, um, I, f I can't remember his name, starts with an F. I can't remember, I'm sorry. But he said, you know, you should try doing different things in the vlogs and not just doing vlogs, you do unboxings and stuff like that. And try and make it, you know, like just different setting, you know, take it as like a story, like tell your actual life and day by day, you know, plot and setting and all that stuff. And there's things I can do. I really want to do what Casey Neistat does or however you pronounce his last name, the different angles and stuff that he does and the music. And I want to eventually get to that point. So yeah, I got a minute left before my card, you know, fills up so I gotta end this vlog real quick 
Boy's gonna go to bed, gotta work tomorrow, so we'll be back on track, I promise guys. If you enjoyed this video at all, even though it was me telling a crappy story that I might lose my job, please leave a like, leave a comment, share the video with your friends, share my channel with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another daily vlog. And also, update on my iPhone real quick. It is working, 4G and LTE is awesome, everything's back to normal and my data is all set. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another daily vlog. Stay positive and keep grinding guys. Boy. I know you fulfill the mood.